Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll discuss about histology of mammalian pancreas. As you all know, pancreas is a tubular gland and it is present just behind the stomach. It extends between duodenum and spleen. So this tubular gland has mainly four parts that is head, body, neck and the tail part. The head part of the pancreas is joined to the body of the pancreas through a narrow constriction known as neck. So these are the four parts of the pancreas. As it is true with the other organs or gland, even the pancreas is also covered by thin layer of connective tissue. This thin layer of connective tissue sends septa or trabeculae into the parenchyma part of the pancreas. Parenchyma part means whatever the tissue which is present inside the organ is called as parenchyma part of the organ. So it sends septa or trabeculae into the parenchyma part of the pancreas which divides the pancreas into many number of lobules. So each lobule consists of different kinds of cells. So that is what we are going to study in this video. Pancreas is called as heterocrine gland. Heterocrine gland. Heterocrine means gland having both exocrine and endocrine part. What do you mean by exocrine or endocrine? Exocrine is a gland or a part of the gland which secretes its serous secretion through the duct into a targeted area. Whereas endocrine part is a part of the gland or a gland which secretes its secretion directly into the blood. So exocrine part is also called as ducted gland whereas endocrine part is also called as ductless gland. So this pancreas has both the part that is exocrine part and endocrine part that is why it is called as heterocrine gland. We will discuss these two part one by one. First one is exocrine part. As I already told it is a part of the gland which secretes its serous secretion through the duct. So pancreas secretes pancreatic juice and the exocrine part of the pancreas is known as pancreatic arsenic which is a major part of the pancreas. As you can see in this diagram these pink parts are known as pancreatic arsenic which together forms exocrine part of the pancreas. We will discuss about the structure of this pancreatic arsenic. As you can see in this diagram the pancreatic arsenic is made up of triangular shaped or pyramidal shaped epithelial cells. And these cells are known as acinar cells. These acinar cells rest on the basement membrane. So this is the individual acinar cells zoned. As you can see here it is made up of pyramidal shaped or triangular shaped acinar cells. And these acinar cells rest on the basement membrane. Individual acinar cells consisting of nucleus at the basal part or at the basal position and at the apical part it has a numerous granules and these granules are known as zymogen granules. These acinar cells which is present in the arsenic it secretes serous secretion which finally forms the pancreatic juice. As you all know pancreatic juice consisting of different types of enzymes like amylase, trypsin, lipase etc. which helps in the digestion of different kinds of component that is present in the food. So finally these acinar cells secrete pancreatic juice. Apart from acinar cells, these pancreatic acini are also consisting of specialized cell known as centroacinar cells. And these centroacinar cells are cuboidal in shape and it forms wall of the intercalated duct or intralobular duct. As I already told, it is an exocrine part of the pancreas. So its secretion is secreted through the duct. And the smaller duct is known as intercalated duct or intralobular duct means the duct which is present inside the acini. So these centroacinar cells makes up the walls of this intralobular duct. So whatever the secretion that is secreted into the lumen of each acini, it passes through this intralobular duct and it enters the interlobular duct. Interlobular duct means duct which is present between the lobule. So through this interlobular duct, it enters two large ducts known as duct of Santorini and duct of Virsan. Duct of Santorini is also known as accessory duct 
and through this it finally enters into duct of Virson which is a main pancreatic duct which empty the pancreatic juice into the duodenum. So in the duodenum this pancreatic juice act on the food particles. So the acinar cells which is present in the pancreas it secretes pancreatic juice and it passes through the duct of Virson and it emptied into the duodenum part. So that is about the exocrine part of the pancreas. Next we will discuss about endocrine part of the pancreas. The endocrine part of the pancreas is known as islets of Langerhans or islands of Langerhans or pancreatic islets. As you can see in this diagram this is islets of Langerhans. And when compared to the exocrine part of the pancreas, the endocrine part of the pancreas is very small and it is present in between the exocrine part of the pancreas or pancreatic acini. As you can see in this diagram, the endocrine part of the pancreas that is islets of Langerhans, it is made up of aggregation of cell or group of cell or different cords of cells aggregate to form a islets of Langerhans. And this aggregation of cell is interspersed with the numerous capillary because the secretion which is secreted by these types of cells will be secreted directly into the bloodstream because it is an endocrine part of the pancreas. So in between these cords of cell you can find numerous capillaries. Mainly this islets of Langer hence consisting of three types of cell that is alpha cell, beta cell and delta cell. As you can see in this diagram, this outermost layer of cell which is present at the periphery are known as alpha cell and these green colored cells are known as beta cells and this red colored cells which is present in between the beta cells are known as delta cell. When compared to delta cell, the alpha and beta cells are more in number. Among alpha and beta cells, beta cells are most numerous in number. Out of these three cells, alpha cells are present at the peripheral region of the islets of Langerhans. And these alpha cells have distinct membrane. These cells have very fine granules in the cytoplasm. And the function of this alpha cell is production of a glucagon. Inner to this alpha cell, beta cells are present. And these beta cells have indistinct membrane. And it has coarse granules in their cytoplasm. The function of beta cell is production of insulin. In between these beta cells you can find a delta cell. And these delta cells produces gastrin and the somatostatin. The somatostatin which is produced by these delta cells controls the secretion of glucagon by alpha cells and insulin by beta cells based on the need of body. So that is about the three types of cell which is present in the islets of Langerhans which forms endocrine part of the pancreas. Whereas exocrine part of the pancreas is pancreatic acini which secretes pancreatic juice. So that is all about histology of pancreas. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.